Right, it's tea break at uh, coffee break at the conference. Just managed to get here. Is look, Dr. Kevin Reynard. He is a consultant in emergency medicine at Leeds Teaching Hospital. Jolly fine hospital it is too. He's just done a very successful uh, session on flow. I think our old no, not flow nightingale, boring, but flow. What, what are the top three things about flow? So the, the top three things about flow in the emergency department is both front-ending the assessment of patients, that is streaming patients away to other resources, other facilities, making sure that they're streamed to the right people if they're staying within the ED, front-ending their care with investigations, and then ensuring you've got flow out so that there's elasticity in other areas. But that's the problem, it. isn't it? I mean, it, it, I, I get the bit coming in, and the paramedics doing their thing and you know good triage and all that but of course if you haven't got any beds you haven't got any beds so so there's i think there's more to it than just beds there's also elasticity within assessment areas within the hospital so assessment areas frequently will get to capacity and then patients will be diverted back to the ed uh, or patients will just wait there without being able to go up we know that if we do that, if we get patients who are the, uh, into an assessment area late in the day, and by late I just mean three o'clock in the afternoon, that will add a day to their length of stay because they don't get access to diagnostics early enough. So we really shoot ourselves in the foot by not having elasticity in these other areas. So the moral of the story is don't get admitted after lunchtime. Well, I think so. Or alternatively, make sure your system can cope with people who aren't quite there for lunch. Yeah, being able to analyse those hotspots, because data is the key, isn't it? And, and of all places now, A&E has collected some great data, and you've got those magic things on the wall, the television screens with the plots and the rest of it. Does that help? So uh, data's key to it, both in terms of being able to manage what we're doing now, but also predicting what we're going to need to do in the next few hours and in the next few days. We uh, also link into other sources of data, things like meteorological information, so about respiratory problems so that help us predict what we need to do. Having said that, data can also be a bit of a problem in that it means that that's the area where we have most information about. So that's where the area where performance management comes with the biggest stick. Yeah, I and keep hearing this, performance management or the management of performance. It's two very different things, isn't it? It's, it certainly is. And it means that because we have lots of data, it's easy to try and manage the performance rather than looking at other areas where yeah. problems and solutions yeah. may lie. Uh, we, we, we've got a lot of shares, I think, on the Academy of Fabulous Staff about what you're doing. Uh, ESIS is hugely popular with all the... Because you, you're getting to the heart of the trickiest problem the NHS is facing, isn't it, really? Where is it, where's it done well? Where's a good place? So, in terms of sites where yeah. people... Oh, well, there's some great examples around the country that have uh, led on things like Red and Green to Ipswich, which is a brilliant site. Yeah. Uh, for uh, that. And but we're going to do a how-to day in Ipswich. Um, look for the dates coming up, because Ipswich are getting inundated with, with people saying, oh, okay, how do you do it? We're sitting on the Academy of Fabulous Stuff. How do you do it? So we're going to do some how-to days and, and go up there and, and, and show people how to do it. So, yeah, Ipswich is, so, and is the, the mecca. And there's <laughs> lots of places who've learned from that and they've had fantastic success. What about so, my local hospital, the fabulous Frimley Park? I'm afraid, being a northern boy, I don't know too much about that, but I do know that Colchester, which I think is down south as well, yes, they've seen some great improvements over the last few weeks. They've just got red and green up and going in a big way, yeah. and they're doing fantastic well. Their performance has soared. Very good. Kevin, thank you. You've deserved your cup of coffee. Thank you. Dr. Kevin, thank you.